the impact of COVID-19 pandemic is still wreaking havoc around the world. Uh, rising instability and political turmoil have become the new norm. The military coup in Sudan this week uh, is the third one in Africa this year alone. Uh, the disastrous withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan has emboldened terrorists while creating a safe haven for them to grow and plan attacks against the United States and our allies. All the while, the Chinese Communist Party's malign influence continues to grow and threaten our democratic values. Now, that's why, as the world's largest donor of foreign assistance, the United States needs to best implement our international development efforts so they have the most positive and strategic impact. The three agencies represented here today are critical components of Americans' uh, foreign policy assistance efforts. <clears throat> this year, the Peace Corps, started by President Kennedy, uh, celebrates its 60th anniversary. So congratulations, uh, Ms. Spa, and to the Peace Corps and all of your um, officers on this milestone event. Um, and I want to thank uh, the incredible Peace Corps volunteers, um, especially those from my home state of Texas who have selflessly given their time to do good work for other human beings across the, the world. Um, and your agency still has a lot of work to do. Tragically, the number of volunteers reporting uh, sexual assault during their service has risen, and I know that you are addressing that. <clears throat> the agency um, um, has failed to complete action on key recommendations issued by its Office of Inspector General that relate to volunteer safety and support. We hope that uh, uh, is complied with. And I trust these reforms are a priority for the agency. I know they are. Uh, and I look forward to hearing uh, from Acting Director Spahn about the work Peace Corps is doing to quickly correct these issues. 